Hi guys. Hi everybody. Good day and welcome to today on Princess Anu TV. So today we're going to be talking again about the subjects that you need to become a pilot like the subjects and the grades because I keep getting questions concerning what grade do I need in this? What of physics? What of geography? What of further mathematics and all that? And I'm like I think we need to talk about this again yes i know that I made one video concerning the future pilot uh, subjects uh subjects you need to become a pilot but i thought we should talk about to go to subjects and the grades one more time to refresh your mind so you know that there are some things that might have changed and might not have changed so in case you're seeing me for the first time and you don't know me <laughs> My name is Princess Anu and on this channel we talk about aviation, motivation and adventure and please if you've not subscribed do me that favor click on the subscribe button just check around it's a red button click on the subscribe button and click on the bell so that whenever I post just anything you'll be able to see it. So guys let's dive straight into it. Now there are some major courses that you need. It's compulsory just like what I'm using to talk to you now. What am I using to talk to you? English. <laughs> English language is very, very compulsory. And so there are some other courses that are compulsory that you really need to become a pilot. And I'm going to classify them that you need five subjects generally, but there are how many are compulsory? Three are very, very much compulsory. And that is mathematics, English, and physics these three are very very compulsory then you can add any other two to the subject to complete it now the gradings now when I say maths we know that in schools there there's mathematics and there's further maths you can decide to go further to do further mathematics but further mathematics is not a requirement because I saw somebody asking that question again in the comment section further mathematics is just Maybe I'm going to say it's for your own good because I actually did for for the maths, but it's just for your own good. But mathematics, the main mathematics that all of us know, that one is super compulsory, and you cannot and will not be able to do without it. So like let me, we need to get that uh, straight. You can't do without it. Another thing is your English. You need at least for the, uh, for mathematics english and physics you need at least a credit and that's a c and i know that some countries because i've seen that some countries do less than uh less than 50 as a c or something but you just need to have a credit whatever is stated there as a credit and i know that most countries you actually use 50 and above as credit i don't i've not seen any country that uses less than 50 that's 50 over 100 as credit so you need at least 50 and above as a credit and you need that credit in at least don't i'm not saying you just need credit but if you can get an a perfect if you can get a b good but you need just a minimum of a c in any of these courses mathematics physics and english and now some courses that are added advantage like they're just like an added advantage to these other three courses that you have can be geography you see that in most of the in most of the um most of the schools you're going to see they will add it there geography is an added advantage if you have geography you know it's going to be something that we like so just like even if you are applying for jobs like i've been doing lately I saw that there are some uh, this thing they're going to add having this particular type of license or adding this particular certification like maybe certification for dangerous goods certification for this is going to be an added advantage that's also the way it is for when you're applying for this course when you're applying for flying they're going to put it there geography is an added advantage but it's not really compulsory so if you did not do it in secondary school don't feel bad and say oh sh that means I cannot become a pilot again because I didn't do no you shouldn't feel that way just know that it's an added advantage and you can still use something else to back it up so you can have mass english physics then you can have i'm going to advise you can use like geography chemistry uh you can use uh, biology any other courses to augment it but these three other courses cannot be augmented with any other thing so whatever you're doing if you're already in ss1 and you need to do changes to add physics now if not you have to go and write physics again except maybe you joined a flight club and you have some hours 
that is the only way I see that sometimes they used to overlook the physics in code because they feel you already have some kind of experience. But if you're just coming straight to flight school, they are not going to overlook that for you. So I want you to put that into account from now on that you are about to enter into flight school, from now on that you are about to start whatever. Like this, the best place, the, the best time to get it right is actually in secondary school. Because if you come out, you have to write, write um, YEK again, or you have to write GC again, or you have to write your grade 12 exams again, or you just have to go back to writing again. So instead of going back to write again, why not just add it? Even if you're in SS2, you can still add physics. Even if you're in if, if you're in SS3 and you're just in SS3, like first semester or second semester, you can still add it. It's not too late for you to add it. But the moment you start waiting, like till you finish school, you say, okay, I'm going to see how I'm going to do it. You have to come back either to write Wayek again or to write uh, GCE again. And I don't think it should be very, very convenient for you. So guys, this is my advice for you in this video. Please guys, take these subjects very, very seriously. And you can't do it without these three subjects. Then you can add any other, you know, one or two around the corner. So, till I catch you next time <laughs> on this same channel. Keep watching Princess and TV. And don't forget, stay safe, be fine, be happy, and live your best life. If you've not subscribed, please do well to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. I love you. <laughs>